Yo, what is up buddies? Welcome back, Beak here. Today I want you guys to wave goodbye to the Clan Wars tie. See ya buddy, we'll miss you. No, we won't. We hate you, Clan Wars Ty, and I'm so glad this is never gonna happen again. So glad. In the previous system, everybody lost in a tie. There was no real winner, and now with the new tiebreaker, it's gonna be decided by average destruction percent. And in this case, you can see, we would've lost. But that's fine, who cares? I, I would rather somebody win than everybody lose. You know, I'm just a good guy like that. Right. Anyways, let's go in and watch some war raids today, and we're going to talk about the other problem with war in its current state. The biggest problem with war right now is that you can't use your heroes while they're upgrading. What? Don't they know we're all farmers? We demand to have our heroes while they're upgrading. It just, it, it's something we really should have, and I'm going to keep pushing for it, guys. But for now, we do have to attack without your queen or king every once in a while. And we're gonna go for a three star today, even though we don't have the queen. Now the biggest problem is taking out the stupid clan castle troops that everybody has now, which is dragons or hounds. Without the queen, it's tough, but we used a P.E.K.K.A. and a ton of wizards in a rage ball there, and we took them out. Yeah! Awesome, I, I was surprised how well that worked, but it really did work really, really well. Now we're gonna send in our hogs in three groups, putting about 10 on the left, six on the top, and 10 on the right. Something like that. <laughs> I think that was the rough numbers. And, you know, heal spells just going through the base. One on the left, one in the middle, one on the right. And it's that simple, guys. On a real easy base like this, you can kind of see the strategy broken down like that. And it makes, you know, it, it makes it really clear. So, now we're on the final aspect of this base. The final part of this base. And boom! I got smoked so hard by a bomb right there. Woo! Wow, almost didn't make it out of that one alive, guys, but we did make it, barely. So, with a few remaining hogs that I have, we're gonna get through this base. I have a couple of goblins up top, and we did it. We just did a three star without a queen. Now, this base was not very challenging. I'm not trying to say I'm the man here, but you can do this. You can get three stars for your clan, even without your queen, if you pick the right base and you just change your strategy a little bit. Now you guys know, I don't normally bring a P.E.K.K.A. when I'm using this army. I usually use more golems, but in this case, I needed more power. I needed that P.E.K.K.A. to just step up to that queen and whack, hit her with one hit and just take her out. So then my wizards could take out everything else. Real good, real good strategy, huh? <laughs> really, it was just a YOLO, throw everything I had strategy and it worked. And uh, I'm psyched on it. So, anyways, guys, wrapping up this raid, we're going to go into another one, which was similar. You know, this war, I normally attack people higher than me. Like, you know, a couple ranks higher than me. This war, I had to attack people around my level. And it made it easier. I'll tell you definitely, like, I'm ranked pretty low because I'm a town only 8.5. So, if I attack people at my own level, they're pretty easy, which is cool. It, that's the reason... Of being a town of 8.5 basically you know i can put down two three stars for my clan of people higher level than me anyways let's watch the second raid now number 13 in the enemy clan i'm number 12 like i was saying we're roughly equal but the thing is this guy has way way lower defenses than me it's it's funny man it's funny to see so we're gonna get um what are we using this time one golem again we're actually using one golem again i remember this one so in this one i'm actually using i think 15 wizards one golem 15 wizards because there was no other option here i have to just kamikaze in here and kill that queen at any cost Let's go, buddies. Rage spell. Tons of wizards. Go, buddies. Go, 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 go. Rage spell. Hit it, hit it, hit it. So, that queen was low level, but she had to die. Queen, you gotta die, and you are dead. Thank the lord. Woo! Look, I mean, that was pretty close. Like, my wizards got it, and they got in there, and they took a bunch of bunch of buildings out, but... It would have been easier without the with the queen. <laughs> Anyways, let's start the hog part of the raid. We're putting about three hogs on each defense. The typical strategy, putting some heals in towards the middle around the expos, air defenses, stuff like that. Looks like I missed an archery tower up in the left top corner. I'm gonna put some hogs on that. And now I save two hogs. I always like to save some for the end. We're actually gonna put them on the left corner right there. 
and let him take out the final few defenses. Now, final heal goes down, and skeleton traps come out. What? Skeleton traps? I feel like you don't ever ruin my raids, but I still hate you. Skeleton traps are so annoying. What is up with those things? I guess they're not too overpowering, but uh, in a hog raid, they're, they're annoying, man. Anyways, that's enough complaining. That's it. Look, we took out the king. Boom, 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 done. Now we're going to take out the rest of the buildings. It's going to take a little while. Oh, bomb. We're okay. You know, this raid, we're doing a lot better because my hogs did not hit a giant pile of bombs like in the last raid. <laughs> right at the end, my hogs hit a ton of bombs, and uh, that was a problem. This raid, we did not. We might hit a couple as we clean up, but really, anytime your hogs split up like this, you've got it. You know, we've got a couple on the top, a couple in the middle, a couple on the bottom. You've got it. Whenever your hogs split up like that, it's a great, great thing. We also have some some archers, some goblins around the base. So, just something to think about, guys. And I think someday we will be able to use our heroes while they're upgrading in war. But for now, we've really got to stick to what we have available to us. And if you need to get a three-star and you don't have your queen or you don't have your king, try to change up your strategy. Think about what you have to do. Say you're doing a hog raid. You got to take out the enemy queen. You got to take out the clan castle. So just adjust your strategy. Bring a Pekka, bring more wizards, bring a rage spell. Whatever you got to do to make sure queen dies, clan castle dies, and you win. Boom. Easy. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this sort of opens your, your mind to what's possible even without a queen. You know, we rely on the queen a lot. I do too. Not going to say I don't. But sometimes you can get away without using her. Really. Hopefully we don't have to forever though. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.